Hi, it's Paula here. I'm a watercolor painter and today's video is the third one of my series for beginners. If you didn't check my previous videos, go check it out. On today's painting, I will show you how to sketch and painting three types of flowers and how contouring could get you a very nice finish for your painting. So let's jump on it. So let's get started. All the three first flowers will start with two circles, a bigger circle with a smaller circle inside. On the first one, I'm drawing a cross and an X and then adding some strokes in between to guide me while defining my petals. Then I'm drawing the petals following the strokes to get a this shape. If you want to see in details how to draw a super simple flower, go to my last video and check it out. It's a very easy one. I'll add the link down below. For the second flower, I'm drawing some triangle shapes from the center toward the edges to get a five petal flower. Make sure to round the corners, giving the petal an organic shape. Moving on to the last big flower, starting the same way with two circles and then I'm drawing five circles on the inner part of the big circle and connecting them to the center with small arcs to get a bulb shape. Each bulb will be a petal. Taking now my Sakura Micro number five, I will contour my flowers very quickly, first to see them better and second to correct any mistakes. So I'm taking a new paper to draw some leaf branches. The first branch has drop shaped leaves and it's very simple. The second one has elliptical shaped leaves. And the third one has very small leaves. Then I'm drawing just the tips of the branches again and I'll use them as fillers on my final drawing to fill small gaps and complement my composition. Doing the same as before, I'm contouring very quickly these branches to get them nice as heifers. For the last sketches, I'm taking a new paper again and I will be drawing some flower branches and single small flowers for using them also as fillers. They will be secondary on my composition, but it's very important having them to making the painting full of flowers. You can see how it turned out after I contour everything. And now, I'm finally ready for my painting. Taking here my Windsor Newton watercolor paper, I will start sketching very lightly the drawings that I've done before, starting with the bigger flowers. You can see that I'm not applying so much pressure on my pencil, otherwise I will damage the paper. Moving on for the branches, I will do the same thing making sure that I have one point into each direction. One point into the right, another point to the left, and I'm also adding some upside down branches to make the painting more interesting. And finally, I'm adding the flower branches, filling all the remaining gaps. I'm taking now my Sakura Micro number five to contour my sketches. 
And don't worry because this pen is waterproof and won't smudge or blur at all after adding watercolors. Then I'm taking some clean water and mixing on the red pigment to the first flower. I'm applying it on the daisy shaped flower just on the petals, as you can see here. So I've decided adding an ochre color to the center of the flowers. And now I'm painting using purple to fill the second flower. To the third flower I'm mixing purple and red to get a mauve tone and I'm using it on its petals. Then I'm filling the smaller flowers, changing colors as I go. I'm trying to vary the colors as much as possible to get a very colorful result. For the branches, I'm taking first the light green and filling some leaves, and then I'll do exactly the same for the darker green color. Finally, I'll take my Sakura Micro number no. 1 to add some details to the petals and leaves. I'm adding thin strokes to the petals to simulate some volume to them. It complements the painting. And this is the final result of my painting. I hope you guys like it. And I bet you can do it by yourself following this tutorial. Tag me on my Instagram if you try this tutorial. It's also watercolor by Paula. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye!